We begin right now with breaking news. Air Tracker 7 over an unbelievable scene. A small plane crashes into the back of a house in North Glen. We've been watching this all afternoon. Just after uh, viewers into 7 News called to tell us they saw smoke, they saw a plane that was flying dangerously low and seemed to be having some trouble. This is live picture from the scene. Live picture from the scene right now where you can see the smoke is out, uh, but you can see uh, parts of the plane still into that house. We do know that no one was home at the time of the crash. Um, we uh, understand from eyewitnesses that that plane was carrying some kind of a banner. The pilot was the one who actually called 911. He was able to walk out of that crash, walk out the uh, front door of the house. We understand that uh, he was then able to call 911 to get help there. We saw firefighters there earlier putting out flames. We have 7 News reporter Russell Hay Haythorn who is there at the scene right now. Russell. Well, and we're standing on the east side of the home. What you're looking at here are some fire trucks for, from North Metro Fire um, here along Livingston Drive. And uh, this is the east side of the home. The, the plane actually crashed into the back side of the home as you've been looking at that Air Tracker 7 video, Air Tracker 7 above us right now live. And we're joined now by Christopher Hoy. Christopher was an eyewitness on this thing. Christopher, if you could just kind of tell us what you saw. Uh, from the moment you saw the plane in distress? Uh, I saw the plane coming southbound. I was sitting at the intersection of 112th and Huron right here. Uh, it just was extremely low. You could tell that the, it was towing a banner, so it looked like the banner was actually almost kind of dragging. The back of the plane was low. Um, it was, you know, coming right towards my neighborhood, which is just adjacent to here. And you said you noticed right away that something wasn't right with this aircraft. Yeah, it just, I mean, it just looked... It just didn't look right. You could just tell. I didn't. I rolled down my window, and I really couldn't tell with the traffic from the from the road. But uh, it just didn't look right, and it came across this neighborhood uh, right here. And I was just racing home, like I said, to try and see if my kids were home yet from school. Uh, I figured if something was wrong, it was trying to get to the open space, which is right west of us here. Um, as soon as I pulled into my garage, I heard it hit. Uh, I heard what did that sound like? Uh, it was just a kind of a loud uh, banging noise. Um, really loud, uh, kind of like a lawnmower hitting, you know, when you go over rocks and stuff, it was it was really loud. And then tell us remarkably what happened when you ran up to the home after the plane had crashed. Yeah, I got jumped on my bike. I ran straight to the road, straight to the house where I saw the smoke. Um, as soon as I got there, the door was open. There was a gentleman inside the house. Uh, I took about two steps in. He uh, was on the staircase. The upper stairs were all on fire. Uh, I asked him if anybody was home. He said nobody was home. I yelled, is anybody home? We had no response. We didn't hear anything. Uh, he actually had a garden hose from the front of the house, uh, had drug it into the house, was trying to, from what I can tell, was trying to spray the, the fire. Um, at that point, you know, neighbors were starting to come out. Uh, the fire, we could hear the fire trucks coming. It was just moments later, the fire trucks rolled around the corner. And then when did this gentleman disclose to you who he was? Uh, as soon as he came out of the house. What did he say? He said, I'm, I'm the pilot. And it was, I was just like, he had a fire department hat on and his face was cut up. Um, so I, you know, it just really caught me off guard. Then when he said he was the pilot, I, I was just amazed that anybody was alive out of something like that. So You thought no way, no how. Yeah, yeah. It just didn't say, it seemed, to me, it looked like it'd come straight down to the house. And after seeing it, it looks like it went any more into the back of the house. But And then I understand the fire department arrived and actually put you and the pilot to work, not knowing who the pilot was, right? Yeah, I, yeah they, you know, they asked me to grab the end of the hose and run it towards the fire, uh, fire hydrant, which was maybe... Uh, 20 yards away uh, and then when I looked back the pilot actually was helping them pull hoses together out in front of the house and then as soon as they identified that he was the pilot they immediately took yeah, action they, they took action and he was taken right to one of the emergency vehicles that was right here at the end of the block Christopher we appreciate your harrowing story thanks so much <laughs> yeah Thank you. thanks for helping out you bet. so Ann and Mike um, obviously an active scene here the plane crashed into the back of the home. You can see just beyond this fire truck here, there was smoke uh, billowing up from the rooftop just moments ago. It has since subsided. It looks, it looks as if they now have the fire completely out. Again, a remarkable story here. Apparently a pilot flying a small aircraft 
crashed into the back of this home and survived the crash by walking away. As you just heard a moment ago, Christopher Hoy said he actually had a conversation with the pilot who was actually helping to put the fire out inside the home. Remarkable story here in North Glen. We'll toss it back to you guys. Yeah, and lucky no one was home. Thank you, Russell. Now we've been live streaming live video of the crash from Air Tracker 7 on the 7 News app all afternoon. You can watch the video or a slideshow of some of the images on the app or on our website right now.